Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to dive into something that you may have heard of, uh, the possibility of tropical development. We've talked about this together, uh, possibility of tropical development in the Caribbean, but I know some of the other YouTube channels are really latching onto this. So I want to show you everything I'm seeing out of this to kind of let you know exactly what could happen down the road. Now, let me just take you way out in time. This is the American model, the GFS model. So this is what I want to begin with. Then I'll get to the flood potential. Here's a look at Wednesday of next week. So I'm taking you out in time. You see here, we're looking okay, watching areas of rain. Hopefully we get some rain in the Eastern Caribbean. This is deep into next week. Now this model, once you get past 10 days, almost always shows some sort of hurricane spinning up this time of year. That's just how this model works. As it goes out in time, it becomes less reliable. So this is kind of an image we've been seeing around quite a bit on YouTube, social media as a whole, uh, showing that by the time we get into next weekend, which is way down the road, that there could be a tropical storm, potentially a hurricane bubbling up in the Western Caribbean. So I wanted to address this. Again, this model almost always shows something way out in time that looks kind of scary. Most of the time, it does not happen. Now, with that said, this area has been kind of a hot spot. That's why the last few videos we've been talking about together, how there could be some development here. Is it going to look like that? Maybe not, probably not, but this area uh, is kind of a hot spot for development. We've seen a lot of rain this time of year, so that's probably why the computer model is latching onto that. So let me show you this. This is the European model. Now the European model, uh, this is the area, here's the Caribbean, here's the Gulf of Mexico, here's the Atlantic, Bahamas, uh, you get over toward Florida, Trinidad and Tobago. The European model, does not show this type of development. There's a million models out there. This time of year, you could always find one that spins out a hurricane down the road, or you could find one that doesn't. But the European model, pretty reliable model, watching this area in here does show by the time we get deeper into next week, this is by early next week, little buildup of some moisture here. So it is hinting at some moisture. Let me take you out in time even more so. This is by the time we get into late uh, next week into next weekend. So the same time frame I showed you that the American model now, what it does, what does grab my attention out of this, it is not showing a tropical storm or hurricane at this point. We'll see what happens as we go out in time. But by next weekend, it does show what I was kind of thinking over the last few days, a buildup of moisture in here. Now, sometimes this moisture actually may be on the flip side. It may end up over here on the Pacific side. Sometimes it could end up on the uh, Caribbean side. So wait and see. But we've got two or two major models, one showing something a little crazier, uh, one showing development, and then the other model, the European model, showing at least some uh, areas of uh, high intensity rain. So it is a spot to watch. The Western Caribbean is a spot to watch for the potential of development sometime late next week into next week and way down the road. I got you covered on this as we go through the hurricane season. That's why I appreciate you sharing the channel. Now, another thing I'm watching out for, again, it's not just the models. I look at everything going on. Here's a look at some of the uh, water temperatures. They are crazy warm for this time of year in the Central and Western Caribbean and really across the Atlantic Basin as a whole. Now we're looking at 29, 30 degrees. This is Celsius. That's about 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It is plenty warm for something to develop. It is actually super warm. We have some bath water over here. That is a concern as we go throughout the rest of the hurricane season because if other conditions are right, again, things it's not just the water, it's what's going on up above our heads in the atmosphere. If uh, conditions are right for development, this would be a problem for uh, storms kind of increasing in intensity uh, very quickly. So what we have though is what I'm seeing is a buildup of moisture here, very warm water temperature. So yeah, by the end of next week and next weekend, there could be something developing here. Now here's a map I don't often show. This is versus average. So this is where, it, let me just simplify this, where you're seeing the orange shading, uh, temperatures are running way above average. Where you're seeing the blue shading, it's a little bit below average. Much of the Atlantic Basin is running above average for this time of year. Also a concern. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about uh, the uh, seasonal forecast. El Nino sometimes means less hurricanes, but on the flip side, we have super warm water. It's warmer than average. That may balance out El Nino and give us quite a few storms as we go through the upcoming season. But again, yes, I am watching this spot in the Western Caribbean. I want you to know everything I'm seeing. 
I got you covered there. Now, if eventually a storm develops, and we'll get a storm developing at some point, the next name on the list is Brett. Again, we had Arleem that formed as that weak, uh, quick uh, tropical uh, system, tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico that quickly fell apart last weekend. So Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert, some of the next names on the list. And again, here over toward parts of the Central Western Caribbean, let's get back to right now. I've been watching more rain. Exactly what we've been talking about, about the last five videos that we would see these streams, these bands of rain and storms. Some of us dry, then others get dumped on, and then you may get a turn. High concern central in eastern Cuba. We've seen the mudslides, the landslides in Cuba, lots of flooding, heavier rain parts of the Bahamas, central Bahamas in particular right now, and again, still nearby Jamaica. We've seen some rain and watching out for some additional flooding. My friends in Jamaica from Falmouth, Montego Bay, over toward uh, Kingston, got you covered. Cayman Islands, most of this has been off to the east, but little Cayman, we had some rain overnight. So keep me posted in the Cayman Islands on what you got going on as well. Here's that closer look. And again, it's just this stream of rain and storm. Sometimes it sets up here. Sometimes it's a little bit over here. Sometimes it's back over here. So it's just kind of monitoring that throughout the day. Turks and Caicos and Haiti, we haven't had a whole lot, but we've been right on the edge of it. So monitoring that for us in the Turks and Caicos. Elsewhere, Eastern Caribbean, there's going to be a little uptick in that rain chance, which we desperately need. We've had life-threatening heat, uh, excessive heat over toward Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. We've been baking Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, although the winds kicked around a little bit more yesterday. And watching some scattered showers near Grenada, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Guyana, inland especially, we've had some of the flooding. Suriname, you've been leaving those comments. I've been seeing some of the flooding in some spots as well. Out here, now this is kind of what's next, watching these tropical waves. No development out of them, but as we get more and more and deeper into June and then eventually July, they'll start to hang together. They'll lift a little bit more to the north, and that will be good news for some of us because we know Northeastern Caribbean, uh, Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, it has been super dry. St. Martin, it has been so, so dry over toward Montserrat, St. Kitts, and Nevis. So eventually, some of these tropical waves will lift a little bit more to the north, and then we'll get a better chance of rain once some of them start to hang together, and that pattern gradually changes as we get deeper into the season. Some of the models hinting at some development in the uh, eastern Pacific, no signs of that quite yet. So let me kind of zoom back down. I showed you uh, the two bigger models on kind of a wider view. Today, watching that heavy rain, Bahamas, watching near the Cayman Islands, near Jamaica, kind of a wait and see on where this sets up. If you get it, we could expect some heavier rain as we work our way toward Trinidad, Tobago, passing showers scattered about Guyana, Suriname, same thing, not as much again, ABC Islands. Hit or miss showers, Costa Rica, Panama, Belize have been watching us. We've been so dry. We've had, yes, some rain and storms at times, but overall way too dry. And again, it's kind of like a tease, everything just off to the east uh, here. And of course, like we get in the tropics, the spots that get it get way too much. This is by tomorrow afternoon. Still that chance of rain by the Bahamas, Cuba, and near Jamaica. Still some of that rain over toward Costa Rica. Now by tomorrow, some tropical waves, a new tropical wave sliding in. Uh, some scattered showers will be around. Trinidad and Tobago uh, watching that. Dominica, Martinique, Guadalupe, we could see a passing shower possible. So some hit or miss showers, but nothing widespread, as I mentioned, toward the British Virgin Islands and U.S. Virgin Islands. Same thing in Puerto Rico. You see the patterns holding, which means the spots that are wet have been getting too wet. This is on Sunday afternoon and the spots that are dry just continue to stay dry, but eventually things will change. Update on the dust. We've had a lot of dust. Now, some of this dust has been creeping all the way toward Jamaica, not as much Mexico, Honduras, and Belize, but you see it here again, a ton of dust around Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, Northern Venezuela, this yellow shading, and then we'll catch a little bit of a break, but more dust coming off the coast of Africa. That is that bigger surge. I talked about that yesterday. That's going to move in sometime later next week. So I'll be tracking this dust as it marches across. Rain totals, the blue here, you may get 10 to about 25 millimeters up to an inch of some rain in some spots, a little bit more Guyana and Suriname. As I mentioned, I've been highlighting us over toward Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, just some passing showers. This is the big issue. These are colors that often don't show up. This is off of my scale, and we could have some spots uh, this morning in through the afternoon in central and eastern Cuba, oh, easily over 150 millimeters of rain, kind of for a 24 hour plus total. Uh, that is that life threatening flooding. I've been highlighting that for a week now. Unfortunately, we're seeing that mudslides, landslides, especially as you get over toward the higher terrain. If some of that works back, we've got some higher terrain 
Mediterranean, eastern tip of uh, Cuba. And again, Jamaica, you know I'm watching us, watching out for that chance of rain as we go throughout the day. Honduras, this is spotty stuff and mainly inland, not as much along the coast. 40% chance of rain today through the weekend in Honduras. Belize, 10, 20% chance. Pop-up shower storm, passing variety. As we swing back toward Jamaica, again, it's really watching these bands of rain. It's going to be a close call. Some of it have, have it now, some of us don't. So again, just watching how these kind of filter in. So I'll be monitoring that flooding. This is a weather community, so leave those comments. Let us know what's going on where you are. Puerto Rico, we have been baking. Again, the excessive heat watch still in effect. We're going to have some mid-90s Fahrenheit with us. Heat index Fahrenheit as high as 110 to 120. Again, life-threatening heat. I'm watching Puerto Rico very carefully. It is so dry, and not just Puerto Rico, but across the board. We've seen many spots, by the way, have some of those uh, uh, rolling blackouts where the power has to go out for a while, all that stuff. So watching that over towards St. Kitts and uh, Nevis. Look at that rain chance for us, about 20%. That is all, very minimal. So we need that pattern to change. St. Lucia and Barbados, down through St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 20, 30% chance of a shower over toward Dominica, passing variety. Little bit more though, Trinidad and Tobago. And by Sunday, with that next tropical wave moving in, the rain chance over toward Trinidad bounces back to about 60%. Guyana, 60, 70%. Not quite as widespread, but some spots are still going to get rain. A lot of it, though, is going to be across our interior section. Same thing in Suriname. So again, I mentioned those blackouts. We've had those issues. So I'm watching you with the dust, the low air quality. We've got crazy issues now like we get in the tropics. Either we are getting flooding and mudslides, and then on the other hand, we're dealing with water restrictions. And uh, very poor air quality and excessive heat. If we're dry, we get way too hot. That allows the temps to get up. So I'm thinking of you, if you are dealing with this stuff, Jamaica, Bahamas, Cuba, watching out for the possibility, high possibility in some sections, as I showed you, of that flooding. And again, keep an eye on the Western Caribbean. You know I've got you covered. Again, European model showing a buildup of moisture in the Western Caribbean next weekend, and the American model showing something spinning up. So wait and see, but I'm watching that. Next name on the list is Brett. Hurricane season all the way through through November. I will do everything I can to keep you posted. I will go through the comments throughout the day. Thank you for taking the time and effort to share this channel uh, with others. I do see it. I do appreciate you doing that. And again, I'll do my best uh, to do this channel for safety as we go throughout the hurricane season. Thank you for being with me. Hope you have a good rest of your day.